Warren Buffett just sold $11 billion of Apple to buy $4.3 billion in Google. Why would he do this? Why would he trim his single greatest investment to buy into Google? A lot of people are missing the real story. This isn't just a stock trade, it's a signal. It's what I'm calling the great reallocation. And the crazy part, everything else that happened in AI this week proves exactly why he did it. Okay, so what is the great reallocation? For the last few years, the big AI money was in the picks and shovels, just by Nvidia, the company selling the hardware, and you'd make a fortune. But Buffett's move and a second move this week signals that phase is over. On November 11th, SoftBank, another one of the world's biggest tech investors, sold $5.8 billion worth of its Nvidia stock. And why? To fund their massive $30 billion investment in OpenAI. This is the exact same play as Buffett. They are selling the picks, Nvidia, to buy the platform, OpenAI. The market confirmed this just two days later. The AI coding tool cursor just raised $2.3 billion at a jaw-dropping $29.3 billion valuation. Meanwhile, China's Baidu announced its new Ernie 5.0 model, claiming it has 2.4 trillion parameters and its stock tanked 9.8%. The market is screaming at us, we don't care about specs anymore. We care about platforms that people actually use. Buffett and SoftBank are betting the hardware gold rush is done. The real long-term empire building money is in the dominant platforms. And this week, Google proved it's about to become the ultimate consumer platform. This is the why behind Buffett's bet. On November 13th, Google rolled out its agentic AI shopping features. This isn't just a chatbot. This is an AI that can call a local store for you to check if they have a product in stock. This is an AI with a buy for me button that can autonomously navigate a website and complete a purchase for you when an item's price drops. This is the agentic era arriving in the real world. This is Google's platform moving from finding information to getting things done. It's the first true mass market AI agent. But this is also why the stakes have gotten so high. Because on the very next day, November 14th, Anthropic revealed that a Chinese-backed group had already used AI to conduct the first large-scale autonomous cyber attack. They turned a commercial AI model into a weapon that executed 80-90% of a sophisticated cyber espionage campaign by itself. This is the dual-use crisis in a nutshell. The same week AI agents started booking our purchases, they started orchestrating cyber attacks. This is the high-stakes race Buffett is betting on. Can Google build the trusted, consumer-agentic platform faster than the dual-use crisis spooks regulators and the public? He just put $4.3 billion on yes. But to run this agentic platform, you need power. More power than anyone really understands. And on November 12th, we saw the two competing strategies for this. First, Anthropic, the makers of Claude, announced a $50 billion plan to build its own data centers. A massive, vertically integrated move. The catch? They won't even be online until sometime next year. On the exact same day, Microsoft dropped a bomb. They didn't announce a plan. They announced their AI super factory is already active. It's not one data center. It's a network of data centers across multiple states linked by 120,000 miles of fiber optic cable, all acting as one planet scale supercomputer. This is the real moat. This is a game that only multi-trillion dollar companies can play. And this is a moat Warren Buffett understands. He's not just betting on Google's AI, he's betting on its infrastructure. Google, like Microsoft, is one of the only companies on Earth with the capital, the data centers, and the global network to actually compete in this new arms race. So, Google has the platform and the infrastructure. What's the risk? The risk is that the entire R&D path they're on is the wrong one. This week, the two godfathers of AI publicly pivoted away from the large language model LLM race that Google and OpenAI are dominating. First, Yan LeCun, the head of AI at Meta, is reportedly leaving to start his own company focused on world models, AI that understands the physical world, not just text. Then, Dr. Fei Fei Li, the creator of ImageNet, launched her own world model called Marble, a tool that can build interactive 3D worlds from a single image. Both are arguing that LLMs are a dead end for true AGI. This is the biggest risk to Buffett's bet, but here's the genius of buying Alphabet, the parent company of Google. Because the same week all this happened, Google's other AI lab, DeepMind, unveiled SEMA 2. What is SEMA 2? It's a generalist AI agent that can play video games it's never seen before. It's an AI that learns by interacting with a 3D world. In other words, it's a world model. So Buffett's bet on Alphabet isn't just a bet on Google's LLMs, it's a hedged bet on the entire company. He gets the dominant LLM platform, Gemini, and one of the world's leading world model labs, DeepMind, under one roof. So when you see the headline, Buffett buys Google, the real story is, why? He's not just buying a search engine, he's buying a platform in a world where AI native platforms like Cursor are worth $29 billion. He's buying the agentic AI leader, the company that's already putting autonomous agents in the hands of a billion users. And he's buying the infrastructure and hedged R&D that make it one of the only companies on Earth, alongside Microsoft, 
that can survive this new, hyper-expensive, great AI war. The picks and shovels gold rush is over. The great reallocation to the empires has begun. And Warren Buffett just placed his bet. But that's just my take. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.